this person does not love you anymore. This is really sad and heartbreaking. But this person does not love you anymore. This is so sad. I don't know why I feel so saddened by this. Let's pray before I release this prophetic word so that God is going to strengthen, that God is going to help the person that is um, in this situation. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word that is about to come forth. I pray, oh God, that you give me utterance and that you prepare the hearts of those that are hearing. Let this word fall on a fertile soil and let it help them in ways that are unimaginable. And let it bring peace into their hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. If this is the first time you're joining, this is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. We always come on life like this. And we always um, give prophetic words like this, prophetic messages, as God lays it in my heart and as he gives me utterance. And we also come on life at least once every day to pray and believe God for the things he has promised us. <clears throat> hallelujah god bless you subscribe you can share to a loved one let them be a part of this community god bless you as you do that in the mighty name of jesus amen someone this is just your confirmation i mean you know the truth is really bitter the truth is bitter but what do we do we've got to say it we've got to say it because you have to know this and you have to find a way around this all right so this person does not love you anymore sadly you're in a relationship with someone and it has gotten to a point where you feel like you're walking on eggshells you are scared to make mistakes because you feel like if i do this this person is going to leave me if i do that they would leave me you know i got i've, I've in my little years of being around here i've realized there are times people stay in a relationship with others not because they really love them but because they've gotten comfortable there is a time when you've been with someone for so long that you got comfortable having them around you not necessarily because you love them or not necessarily not necessarily because they love you they are just comfortable having you around them because they i mean they know you better you know them better you've shared a lot of things in common and they are just comfortable having you but they don't love you anymore and in that case it, it gets really frustrating for the one that is not loved because your life really becomes miserable you know it's like you're walking on eggshells when you do anything that person can easily snap you know the bible says that love covers a multitude of sin it means when someone is in love with you they forgive you easily for things you've done, even without you asking for forgiveness. They tell you, I've forgiven you. Why? Because they love you. That is what love does. It covers a multitude of sin. Love makes excuses for their partner's shortcoming. Love does not pinpoint it and, you know, throw it on their faces. No, love makes excuses, gives them allowance, gives them an opportunity to be better at, the, at themselves. So if you find yourself in a position where you are in a relationship with someone and you are so scared that you will lose them, like you have to act right in order to keep them, I'm sorry. You might just be in the wrong place. You have to find yourself a right place. Because anyone you are scared of losing, you lose eventually. Everyone, anyone you are scared of losing, you lose eventually. Be it... Um, this one now cuts across every sphere of life. Be, be it a friend, be it a business partner, be it um, whatever the case may be. If you have someone in your life that you're scared of losing, you will lose them eventually. So if you're in this relationship and, and you cannot freely talk, like you want to say, you want to express yourself and you are scared. What if I say this and he, and he gets angry? What if I say this and he throws her off balance? I'm sorry, you are not in the right place. And if someone snaps at you for the slightest thing you do, I mean, they don't love you anymore. They are just... Some time ago, a friend told me something. It was crazy. So this guy was dating this girl. He had even promised her that 
I want to get married to you. And as time went on, went by, apparently he stopped loving her. But this girl was a very good girl. Like she, she will not cheat. She will not keep late night. She does not even entertain male friends. I mean, she was all about her relationship. Yes, the girl had her issues, but who doesn't have issues, you know? So they were together and it got to a point where the guy stopped loving her, but he did not know how to exit the relationship. The girl was, you know, the girl did not give him any reason to exit. So he told me at this point, I don't want this girl anymore. I don't love her anymore. I'm just hoping that someday I can just meet her with a guy in a compromising position. I don't want to know if it's her boyfriend or not. I just want to meet her in a compromising position and I'll just say, that is it. The relationship is over based uh, on this I have seen. And the girl never did. He never met the girl in, in a compromising position with another person. And he got me thinking, why would you be with someone and you badly want an excuse to leave? Because you don't love them anymore. So in that kind of relationship, the least thing that girl does, even something that can be forgiven, he will not forgive because he doesn't want to be with her. They had a little misunderstanding. The girl said something. And I mean, it's something that naturally the guy should have apologized because the guy was wrong. But the guy took offense and stayed away from talking to the to the lady for over a week. The lady came back, apologized, forced herself again into the relationship. I mean, I just kept looking at it like this is quite miserable. This is so miserable. It's difficult to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you. You cannot keep someone that does not want to be kept. You cannot be with someone. It's difficult to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you. If you start feeling that sense of walking on eggshells, if you start feeling like, if I say this, my relationship will be over. If I express myself like this, she will leave me. He will leave me. I'm sorry to say you're in the wrong place. You have to gather yourself. You have to... Um, put yourself together, speak to yourself, and have the courage to move on. Have the courage to just move on. You deserve love. You deserve someone to treat you right. Why am I so emotional <laughs> about this prophetic word? It's all right. <laughs> I hope you did receive this word with gladness. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.